Hey guys, it's Isaac Armada here, and welcome to a very special video of Team Fortress 2 content. <laughs> Where today I would like to highlight some people in the community. Some artists, particularly. You see, Team Fortress 2 is an amazing, huge game. Many people believe that perhaps the game is dying, or perhaps the community is gone. But I would argue that they're not. In fact, I say that they're still going quite hard. And today is an example of that. I asked people on my Discord a few months ago to post their own Team Fortress 2 artwork. And today, I just want to spend some time to sit back, relax, and look at what people have made. See the passion that has gone into Team Fortress 2, even to this day. As we go through this video, if any of these artists interest you, I recommend checking out to see if they have commissions or perhaps a site in the description below. Everything will be in order that you see in this video, but without further ado, let's get started. Our first artist today is Rizemonger. Now she is an absolutely amazing artist. This particular piece here, she made pretty much just because a really good friend of hers uh, gifted her an unusual hat. So she wanted to illustrate the moment. I love this piece so much because it's just showing like how much that she loves both Team Fortress 2 and her friends that she wanted to make an amazing piece of artwork just to show her appreciation. That's that's awesome. I absolutely love it. I also love the little detail in the uh, in the second picture there that she actually now has two hats because she put the unusual one on top of the other one. Rizemonger does a lot of artwork. She's a fantastic artist and I highly, highly recommend checking out her other work as well. Next up, we got a piece of SFM artwork by Maffy Fay. Sorry if I'm saying your name incorrectly. This is a really awesome scene. I don't know why I'm so appealed to this to this shot here. Maybe it's the clouds in the background of the different hues going through it, I don't know. Presumably this perhaps is his heavy and his medic or perhaps a friend of his just going into battle and having a good time, shooting people up. I particularly love the little uh, smoke effect coming off the minigun there, it's actually quite a nice little detail. In fact the more I look into this scene the more I see really cool little details like that. Look how bright the medigun is, that's awesome. Also, that's an unusual medigun, ooh. The medic's got blood on his coat and everything. Oh, it's great. This is actually like a, one of those pieces that you like, you, I kind of want to use it as like a like a background for a desktop, you know what I mean? This is fantastic. And it's another piece that, you know, I'm sure he just made because he wanted to. Just a fun little thing. This next piece is by Swish and he has submitted a painting. I believe it was done in Photoshop, but that doesn't remove the point that it looks bloody amazing. I absolutely love this. I think it's a, a bit of a thing that people do is where they, they take the base, of the uh, the official Team Fortress 2 uh, posters, and they put their own loadouts on it, and I always love that so much. I, I want to do that one day, honestly. I think it's really cool seeing people do it because it makes it look kind of it makes it look official, you know. Like like the, you could actually print this out as your own poster, right? And you can put that on your wall, and like that's me, that's me right there. You know, that's great. I love the, I like your loadout as well, by the way, man. Look right there. You see that? See that little shine that he's done there? Oh, I love that. I love that, that it goes briefly from it goes from bright yellow to orange to black. And it gives a really nice impression. In fact, he's actually got a lot of little tints around the side to the left and stuff. Ooh. Ooh, that's really, really nice. Man, as I keep looking at these pieces, I'm, see, I'm noticing all these nice little extra details I didn't actually notice before. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this. Right, next up we have Bell. Now you probably know Bell from my uh, shotgun video, or B as he likes to be called now, where essentially he uh, gave his opinion on uh, the shotgun very firmly, but uh, solidly. He also is an artist as well. He submits a lot of hand-drawn pieces, of which I appreciate. It takes me back to my uh, my old high school and university days, when all I used to do was to scribble in my notebook all the time. Uh, he submitted many pieces. The rules of the thing was only to submit one piece, but uh, you know, whatever. But as you can see here, he even experiments with inks sometimes. He mainly draws his pyro, despite the fact that he is a dev devout pyro not main, as he says constantly. Despite the fact that literally every single art piece that he has uh, put up there it has been his pyro. So <laughs> but I love that he's just drawn his py the pyro in so many different unique uh, situations and stuff like that. I like this one too. He's done a, this little colored piece as well with the pyro and, uh, and a little dog. And I, I just love that. He can actually draw dogs better than I can. I really do love it. I have a, I have a very big soft spot for a little bit of hand-drawn pencil art. Seriously. It, it, uh, it takes me back. I really want to do more of it, honestly. Oh, and the shading there. The bit of smudge shading. Oh, that takes me back. <laughs> and this is a uh, SFM piece that he has made. Uh, and he likes to post all the time. <laughs> Which I quite like as well. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. It's, uh, it's pretty charming. I'll say, let's say that. <laughs> Next up, we have Dimitri... 9511 or just Dimitri I don't quite know and he has made some Red Dead Redemption inspired artwork and I gotta say holy dooly I love this 
I absolutely love this. I always love that Heavy's uh, cosmetics. I, I actually quite like them all. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm uh, the Yeti Heavy right now, I would honestly wear them. I actually own them. Like, I love in this particular piece right here, black, hard shadows, but he's got that bright yellow highlights and, and shine to them. And it's, it's just, oh, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Man, I, I want every uh, every Team Fortress 2 class to have cowboy aesthetics like that. It's just, oh. Uh. See, I, I look at a piece like this and I'm like, I, I don't even know how you, how you made this. How, do, how did you make this, man? I, I, I don't I don't even know. And I, I find it so, or, like, just, like, spectacular. And I love that all the little, like, s like scratchy details. You see, like, in the sun in the background there? How do I put it? Like, it's, it's kind of sketchy and yet it all comes together, like, very deliberately. It's kind of hard to explain. I studied art for like five years and I have no idea how to describe it. <laughs> and of course this solo piece as well carries the same idea. I love the black and the red. In fact, the, the actual heavy itself got all these little red highlights going on. This is more than just like an SFM job. He's put extra effort into this. In fact, actually all the highlights are just straight up white. Man, that's really clever. This is actually giving me some ideas for some thumbnails I might make along the line. I'll admit that I've actually uh, haven't played the new Red Dead Redemption game, but uh, th this piece, funnily enough, is the thing that's inspiring the most to do it. I am a sucker for an art style like this, and I'm also a pretty big fan. I like cowboys. I like cowboys. Who doesn't like cowboys? Next up, we have that smug NG, and he has also created some hand-drawn uh, pencil artwork. And uh, oh, I gotta say, this uh, medic and pyro combo here with the uh, MVM, I'm loving it. I'm digging it. It comes across to me, and I don't know the story behind any of these, right? I'm just, this is what I say. I, I look at it and I go, this seems to me like it was a moment where you were playing MVM with your friend and you just wanted to commemorate it because it was an awesome time. And you're like, I want to draw, I want to draw some artwork. And that's flipping awesome, dude. Also, I gotta say, I, I also love this, <laughs> the medic doing the, uh, you know, the old Shakespearean holding the skull situation there. You got the mountains in the background combined with the, uh, the MVM uh, tank man holder. I can't speak today. Uh, we, he also submitted a picture of his NG hall on the building. Uh, presumably it's his NG. So again, putting the nice the detail into adding in the cosmetics. Very, very, very nice. And this final one, his pyro, which what appears to be a stand. Now look, I'm the I'm a JoJo fan, so I see everything as a JoJo reference. If it's not, then it's not. If it is, however, then I appreciate it. Could also be a Persona reference. I don't know. Still great. I actually like the design of the uh, the creature in the background quite a lot. I love it. I, again, it just gives me this like like this old nostalgic idea. I mean, I used to do this too, you know. I just like drawer in my sketchbook my team fortress 2 characters you know just have fun with them see them in all these different situations and just draw them looking cool and it's ugh, i love it i love it i love it i love it <laughs> do i sound giddy i think i am i might be going a bit too bad here <laughs> next up we have redeemer 19 and he's got a very beautiful picture of the spy here doing a pretty cool pose in fact actually he's got he's got a little bit of like a, an action uh, thing he's got a he's got like the blur of where the spy like just was you see he's also got a nice composition here of the despite the fact that the spy is blue he's put the blue part of the background on the other side and the red on this side so that way the spy pops out more very nice detail also i like the way that he drew his face it's very nice and also the hands as well he's all he's got that like um the kind of what do you call it? like that kind of square knuckle thing i've always loved that also, I'm a sucker for the nice white cutout uh, effect there. Because the thing is, I'm the kind of person that I like really, I like bold kind of, you know, uh, lines and things like that. And I like the, you know, emphasize on a bit of cartooning. Oh, you know, what? actually, there's a lot of like little detail, the shading around the eyes as well. Do you see that? That's really, really nice. This is, I gotta say, as I've been going through these pieces, in fact, there's all lot, there's all kinds of little bits of shading and stuff you don't realize at first. He's got these normal lines here to show creases, but then he goes with the shading as well to add additional creases. That's really good. I love that as I've been looking through, because I've seen these pieces before, but now I'm actually taking the time to sit down and look at them. I'm loving them even more. Uh, next up, we got Moxie, or Moxort, as he's put himself here. They're an SFM artist, as you can see here, and they have this beautiful aesthetic i love the colors in the background i'm just gonna be honest with you i love that 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 kind of pink and maroon color scheme and in the front here he's got the weapons with that kind of like outline around them and then and then you got that contrasting bright lime green draws the eyes to the scout's face originally a weeb no wait he still is very nice uh here he also uh, created he recreated rather the cs go new menu as if it was the team fortress 2 menu style I think that's, a, that's actually a really clever idea. This is less of a, uh, you know, deliberate art piece. It's more of a proof of concept, I guess you could say. But, I, you know, I'm digging it, dude. His idea was that, like, you can see your your mercenaries 
your classes, as you will, uh, in their loadout set in the in the main screen, which I've always wanted as well, to be honest. Next up, we have KS Diamond. I'm sorry again if I say your name wrong. It's just K S D I M O N, and he has actually gone and drawn a bunch of his classes uh, in his sketchbook uh, it, with inks. And uh, he only submitted two, two of them, but I do know, I'm pretty sure that he has submitted more of them throughout uh, the, the last few months, really, in the other SFM and artwork section on my Discord, which I'd highly recommend you check out because he's been, he's just, he's been, he's been pumping it out, man. They've been getting better and better and better. But here he is, the Heavy is a wizard. <laughs> Love it. Again, with his cosmetics, is that an orbiting planet's unusual? I love orbiting planets i i want to get like a space fiend unusual thing uh but i digress i do like the way he draws his face and his eyes it's very stylized people are really good at drawing like eyes in a stylized manner i can't i just draw big circles and dots in him <laughs> he also has drawn his soldier and it's like a he's got he goes like van helsing soldier going on here again with the eyes he's even got like a little bit of a uh, little bit of crow's feet going on that one you know what i also just noticed he's done this really nice like outline going around the whole thing again. I, you know, I, I'm a sucker for outlines. I'd really like to see these colored as well, honestly. I think that they could do really well being colored. Oh, you know what? He's also done all this like little sh shading detail, just doing these little lines around the place. I love that so many people have done like so many different styles of shading as well. When it comes to Team Fortress 2 artwork, you know, the range is incredibly diverse, whether it be a sketch in a sketchbook or like a painted piece or an SFM piece. There's so much variety and I just, I love it, man. Like I spend hours sometimes just scrolling through different sites and stuff like Tumblr or whatever, just looking for as much artwork as I possibly can. It's literally the only reason I even have Tumblr is just so I can look at artwork and it's, uh, makes my jaw drop. Next up, we have another friend of mine, Minty, uh, and she likes to make uh, SFM artwork. And I gotta tell you, I love her SFM artwork. It's fantastic. She particularly likes to create her scout. But the thing is, is although this artwork is amazing and i love the the color scheme going on here of the purple and the blue it just ah uh, it, it sings to me she has actually also recreated this piece by drawing it. trying to make her scout look a little bit more unique giving him scars and growing his hair out <laughs> and even coloring the pistol a little bit which i really admire this is a, a draw over which means that she took the sfm but then she drew over it again and again I just love that dedication. It's more that she could have just made the SFM and left it at that, but no, she wanted. She liked the idea of making this piece so much that she wanted to draw it again and add in all these extra little details and stuff just so she can make her scout look just the way she wanted. And that's awesome. I love that. Some excellent stuff. And I'll tell you what, I was uh, I was actually around while she was working on that hair up there. It might seem, you might not look at it at first, but she put a lot of work into that hair. She spent days on that hair trying to make it just perfect and i'd say it definitely came through next up is faultless who has just made a couple of comics in his notebook and i love these as well I, again i love his art style the two big eyes pushed together I, that's really i like that a lot actually the meanest but no merc is scared of him the friendliest but every merc feels you got a happy little pyro there <laughs> oh i love the danger shield just being stuck out by the sniper that's great again this is just one of those situations of he just had a fun idea he's like i just want to draw it and he did he drew it in his notebook and i fucking love that i admire it so much it really does bring me back so much nostalgia it's great stuff i'd love to see more of his work actually he hasn't i don't think he's posted uh, much else but I'd, I'd be really interested to see more so with this art video i made in the discord i uh had a bunch of rules the only problem is is the rules got buried pretty quickly and not a lot of people saw them one of the rules was you don't have to upload artwork of me but some people still decided they would anyway so i thought you know what i'll throw it all in and uh here is some artwork that people made of me i believe all of this has already been featured on the channel one regard or another but let's talk about it First up, we got David Tornado, where he has drawn me, my uh, <laughs> my my character here, with the big gold boy as my stand in a JoJo style. I actually uh, have all of these uh, pinned up on my wall uh, right now. All of the pieces you're about to see. Of course, I love. He's actually made two pieces. In this one, I actually have the extinguisher as well, and I love that. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to like be all like, oh, this is this artwork of me, you know, because it's not. This video isn't about me; it's about everyone. But I, you know, I wanted to show off. But this is what was submitted, and I love the highlighter used on the big gold boy. By the way, it makes it, it gives it that extra shine that he deserves. It's fantastic. I also love it when people's different interpretations of my character as well. And of course, he's got the menacing in the background, as I am apt to be. Uh, next up, we got a piece by Giratina showing uh, both me and uh, him, presumably, playing video games. 
just hanging out and chilling. He's also got the details of some the sniper heavy and demo man in the background. Always love it when an artist puts extra detail into the background and stuff. You've got a SNES here and some pizza. I mean, this sounds like a fun night. I'll be hella down for this. And finally, we have Rise Mongo again, who actually, this was the first piece she submitted uh, and then decided that she wanted to submit the other piece, which she actually did do fan out of me. This was actually a uh, the result of an exchange that we did with each other. I drew her pyro and she drew mine. Uh, I guess I can throw out what mine is right here. Um, but yeah, <laughs> she decided that she wanted to draw a fan out of me looking menacing. I drew a fan out of her looking uh, cutesy. I gotta tell you, I absolutely love it. Again, I have this pinned up on my wall right above me at all times, which is always a nice feeling to have it look down on me with those eyes, <laughs> both the, the, the spy and myself. And again, I, the, the, the highlighting, I mean, I'm... Ugh. How do people do this, man? I'm actually really bad when it comes to like choosing highlighting the colors. It's, it feels so simple, but it's really not. Also, I love the this little detail of the crease in the glove there. I just, ugh, ugh. seriously though, the yellow highlights, mwah, it's great. The little blood splatters all over the place. Ugh, gee, it's so good. And finally, I'm going to call this the additional pieces section. I wanted to include everything that was submitted to the, the Discord channel. So now I'm going to show a quick montage of everything else that people submitted, which may or may not be related to Team Fortress 2 or various other reasons. Additionally, KSD Iman, Moxie, and Rizemonger have commissioned sheets, and if other people are doing commissions, I will again ha have written so in the bottom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just kind of like a chill, relaxed, just kind of like, you know, idea I wanted to show. I just wanted to say that I love the Team Fortress 2 community. I love to see what people create, and I really wanted to bring attention to that. It's basically the whole point of this video, you know. There are so, so many amazing creators out there and artists of all kinds that are still working on Team Fortress 2 content to this day. You just gotta find them. So I thought that this video would be a nice opportunity to just give them a moment and put them in the spotlight and just get it out there, you know? And if anyone watching this video makes uh, any kind of Team Fortress 2 art and you wanna show it off, you can go to my Discord and post it in the SFM and Artwork channel. I would honestly love to see it. Anyway guys, I've been Arizona Mato. The next video will possibly take a little bit longer. It's gonna be a very, very big video. But I hope this video kind of ties you over for the time being. And uh, yeah, I've been Arizona Mato. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.